This is Incineled. I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Come check it out. I just got it. Uh, I live in Austin. I drove up to Dallas because they wanted 120 bucks for shipping. And I was like, why not go to Dallas, you know? On the way there, I saw some really cool domes in Italy, Texas. So, got some photographs. Maybe I'll show you some video. But we're gonna do an unboxing. I bought a few other things. I got their, their regular, uh, the first Incinolet toilet on their website. It's called the CF. It's for about four people per house. Um, it runs off of 2,000 watts and 150 volt or 115 volts. Bet you want to see what's under there, don't you? All right. <sighs> Well, here we go. Doodly doodly doodly. And Cinolet. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here. How about this? Let's do the goodies. This was their uh, folder that I bought because you can buy unfolded um, liners. And let me back up for a second because here's the liner. So this will explain kind of what I'm talking about. Um. I should have them. A knife. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, where was I? Um, man, it's hard to do this with the uh, with one hand. Oh, I think I've seen unboxing videos. How about we need, we do a new uh, a new segment called one-handed unboxing videos? While you hold your freaking iPhone because you're not a creator. You're just a regular freaking person. In regular person garage buying not so regular stuff. Bowl liners. Here we go. We're getting there, people. All right. Pizza review time, Frankie. Here we go. Uh, one knife. Everyone knows the rules. Here we go. All right. We're getting in there, folks. We're not going to mess around anymore. We're just going to do this. Anyways, I wanted to do an unboxing video because there wasn't any unboxing videos. There's one guy with a pickup truck. Uh, <laughs> I finally used one. <laughs> Something. Alright, see this? Here. You have the Incinolet toilet. You have these liners. That's where you go poo poo and pee pee in, folks. Then, after you do your business, you close the lid, flush it with the pedal, it drops down inside the uh, container. This is where the magic happens. All you gotta do is push a freaking button. And then, after about an hour, I think people say it's about 45 minutes to an hour run time, you get a nice little pile of ash. Anyways, these are the uh, bowl liners. I imagine these are just wax paper. I really shouldn't be up for these right now because I don't need one. Uh, I, already, I already went today, so I'm good. But, so what they look like, they just look like folded uh, wax paper, to be honest with you. I was like, I'm not going to keep buying liners. I'm just going to figure out a way to do it. So I bought their little square. So make my own anyways, yeah, so I have to pick those, just like glue it. Done, glad I got that and that. You know, cause that, that's for people that don't, you know, don't know and really need to go. Got them to throw in a nice, it's a free t-shirt cause you gotta, you gotta get them to sweeten the pot, you know? Why not? What is this? Uh, then they, want, they wanted to charge me extra for the install kit. And I was like, you know, what good is a freaking toilet that you're paying almost 2000 bucks for if it doesn't come with the pieces to install it? So I was like, yeah, give me this, give me the freaking kit. Come the add-ons. Anyways, all included, I think I paid twenty-one sixty something like that. The toilet itself was uh, 19, um, 1900 and change. 1928 or something, then plus tax. I saved 120 bucks on shipping. Um, but I bought a lot of extras, as you can see. So let's, uh, I can't do this with one hand. This isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, what I decided to do is do a little slide of hands. So you go, now you see it, now you don't. Boom, it's over there. Okay, cool. Look at that. How did you do it? How does he do it, folks? One handed, too. That's incredible. All right, just pull, pull the dress down. Ooh, I like that logo. That's kind of why I wanted this shirt. I like this little, the fire, uh, 
the uh, you know uh, outdoor with the stuff coming out from behind it. That's funny. <laughs> I like it. All right, here's your manual. Do another video of just reading that. Yeah, right. Sounds like fun, right? Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the base model. Um, and give it a good look around. And it comes in stainless steel. You can pay a hundred bucks to get it um, in white. Or if you're from the 70s, you can get different colors like green and yellow and blue. But they got a Fat Master Fondue pot, so choose wisely. Uh, so anyways, there she is. Yeah, she's a beaut. I'm really impressed with the quality construction. They do, they do a really good job there. I got to see their whole setup and they got a line, they got all the tools. This isn't something you can replicate anywhere. This is an awesome design. Gotta give it up. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a liner. We're gonna go number number three tonight because we got it good. So you see that? You put the liner in, okay? You, you do whatever you want in there. I don't freaking care. And then you close it. I'm gonna then you put the foot pedal in, but I'm gonna have to give you a peek what actually goes up. It drops down and if you actually had some falls in there, it would fall into there. And maybe that's where that's where the magic happens. I already said that, didn't I? I can't but whatever. Okay. Then after you've done, let's see how this thing comes off. Guys, I didn't read the instructions yet and I don't want to break it, but, oh God. Right, oh yeah, I finally, finally got it, okay. Uh, one hand too, it's incredible. And then down up under there, you got yourself the little potty holder. That's where all your ads will go. Oh, to decided to join us. Cool. And that's where you're at. And then you can just take that out, the whole thing out, and go dump it. I mean, it's almost anywhere, dude. Like, seriously. So I have a really small pro piece of property that I'm doing a off-the-grid build on. And um, this, without having enough space to do a septic tank, uh... This was my, my option. It was either this or um, or pay a thousand dollars for a nature's head or airhead compostable toilet. And I was just like, you know what? That seems like Mother Nature's way, but one, I don't want. Ooh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to deal with my own crap on a small piece of property because you know that you need more acreage for that. And, and honestly, like sanitation. Come on. I mean, come on. Uh, but this just burns it up so I can run my generator and burn it and once I get a better su power supply I mean it's 2,000 watts so I imagine that you can have a pretty robust solar system to burn it off of but I guarantee you it's probably going to drain most of your energy so if you're going for that I don't know I'm not an expert I'm just a dude with incinerator toilet anyways uh, tell me what you think bada bing bada boom See you next time. Adios, muchachos.